Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedient PC Audio Labs again. Today we're back with our Cubase video tutorials. And on today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to join MIDI parts together into a single part. So, and when I say MIDI parts, I'm talking about MIDI events. So it, it happens sometimes that we record uh, part by part, uh, especially when you're not like me. I'm not a piano player or a keyboard player. So it takes me a while to get things done with a key. So I'm like, okay, let me just focus on the verse. Then we're going to do the chorus. Then we're going to do the bridge, for example. A good example is what we have here. I have three MIDI events that I recorded. I did this one first and that one and then that one. If you press play, it's pretty obvious that they're they're pretty different. They're supposed to be different parts. So let, let's just listen real quick. Now we go to the other part. Excuse my performance. And the last part. Okay, um, so it's three obvious parts. Now, sometimes um, when you're working and producing, you might want to have those blocks separate. But then it, it's a good um, it's a good habit when you finish producing. If everything that you have here, these three parts are the same instrument, the same um, virtual instrument, you might want to join them into a single MIDI part, just for organization purposes. Instead of having three, it'll be just one that'll basically start here on bar one and end here in bar 15. How do we do it? Very easy. Click on the first part, hold shift, and then click on the last one. Actually, hold shift and click every single one of them. And that's going to select all three. You can see they're kind of like dark blue. I'm going to do that again. So click on the first one, hold shift, click the second, click the last one. Now they're all selected. You see the color change. They're dark, meaning that they're selected. And now if we go MIDI and we do bounce MIDI, check what happens. Boom. All three parts are only one part now. You can see it there. You can see it says starts at one, ends on 15, as I told you. So it starts here, ends here. And now you can treat this as one MIDI part instead of three individual ones. So just for organization purposes, if you're going to share this with another producer, engineer, musician, you don't want to send them all three parts because then they have to figure out where to place them. You want to bounce the MIDI and now you can send that. So that's how you join parts, join MIDI parts in Cubase. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs and we're going to be happy to help you. We will see you soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.